Ladies and gentlemen, here he is back from the year 1727, the renowned scientist, astronomer, inventor, philosopher, and mathematician, Sir Isaac Newton. <laughs> thank you all, thank you all. Sir Isaac, well, you must be a knight. That's right. Well, aren't you a little short to be a knight? But around this time of the year, the knights are a little shorter. <laughs> Uh, what is your address in England, sir? Lincolnshire by Wolfsrock, Chumley Square, King's Road, Lions Gate, Neepsherp, Stidlam, Barclay, 2374. In Jersey, it's Bigelow, 2, 2998. <laughs> is, is that your phone number? No, it's the candy store, but they'll call me. <laughs> sir Isaac, we're all interested in how you happen to formulate your laws of gravitation. And one afternoon, I was sipping tea in Grandma's garden when suddenly an apple fell from out the tree. Oh, and this gave you your idea? No, it gave me a lump on my head. Look at this. What a boo-boo. <laughs> well, Sir Isaac, was this the incident that first started you in your scientific research? No, before that, I had done some work in crossbreeding animals. I was the first man to cross a horse with a fish. You crossed a horse with a fish? Put a fin on a horse's nose. <laughs> well, what did you get? Came in third, paid two pounds, four shillings, a tuppence, and five farthings. I also crossed a rooster with a rooster and got a very cross rooster. Well, now, tell and us... I had a, a, bit of a, a bit of an experiment with a crocodile and an abalone. Oh? Got a crocabalone. <laughs> Sir Isaac, I know that you invented the telescope. Tell us something about your work in astronomy. Well, I discovered the Milky Way, Venus, Mars, Pluto, the Little Dipper, the Big Dipper, and the Large Economy Size Dipper. That's for folks who really like to dip. I was also a meteorologist. You know what a meteorologist is. It's man can look into a girl's eyes and tell weather. Why don't you ask me about some of my other wonderful inventions? All right, sir, fine idea. Sir Isaac, why don't you tell us about some of your wonderful inventions? Funny you should ask. <laughs> well, beside the telescope, I invented a gadget that would enable people to see through a brick wall. I see. What did you call it? A window. <laughs> well, now, what about your work in chemistry? Chemistry, ah, how I love to tiptoe among my test tubes. A little streptococci, cock eye, how do you do? Hello. Do you realize I was the very first man to take baking soda, flour, and whiskey and bake them all together? What did you get? A loaf of bread with a bun on. <laughs> well, that, that sounds fascinating. Merely one of many. I also mixed vodka with carrot juice. You get just as drunk, but you see better. <laughs> I also mixed Ovaltine with coffee. You yawn, but you don't fall asleep. And I've just completed the world's strongest cheese. Oh, really? Well, just how strong is this cheese? Well, sir, it's the first time I've ever seen a rat back into a trap. <laughs> Oops, look at the time. I must be going. Oh, ju just a moment, Sir Isaac. Before you leave, we'd like to ask you a few mathematical questions on your linear table of measures. Now, I'll give you the figure. You give me the corresponding number. Oh, now, here's the first one. Twelve inches. One foot. Three feet. One yard. Five yards. Two spades. Three hearts. I knock. No good. Gin. You win. I really have to leave, old boy. I'm off to Cape Canaveral. Cape Canaveral? Yes, they need me very badly down there. They've been mixing up my mathematics with my law of gravity. It's not ten, nine, eight, it's one, two, three, four. Thank you, Sir Isaac Newton. Oh, I'm sorry.